Welcome to the July the 19th, 2005 taping of It Happened in Grand Prairie. As we bring you the history of our city and some of the people that were very important in making this history, and they're making history even today, but they're not making it in Grand Prairie altogether. And we are so pleased to bring you our history tape number 547. And we have a very illustrious couple, former residents of the city of Grand Prairie, Texas. They were going so fast we couldn't tape them before they left town. And bless Pat, and that's Pat at City Hall. She helped us get them back from Eastland, Texas to do this exit interview with us. And we're so pleased. Mr. Don Wilson, welcome to the set, young man. Thank you. Ruthie. And Jennifer, we are just so thankful that you came with him. Mrs. Don Wilson. Thank you. Ruthie. From Eastland, Texas. Doesn't that sound far away from the Grand Prix Metroplex and all of the good things? <laughs> we're so pleased to have you. And um, Jennifer, with your permission, I'm going to begin with His Majesty here <laughs> on do. my immediate left. And <laughs> Mr. Wilson, would. Uh, you like to tell us a little bit about the real Don Wilson when he was very, very young, where you were born, name your parents and your mother's maiden name, and if you have brothers or sisters, and especially if you happen to have a twin brother or something, let's name, <laughs> name them all right at this time, please. All right. Hi, Ruthie, I was born in Gorman, Texas, 1942, at the Blackwell Hospital. Okay. Uh, spent most of my life in... Uh, in the Gorman, Carbon, and then uh, we moved to Eastland in 1959, and that's where I graduated from high school. Okay, uh, and your parents? Uh, J.T. and Edith Wilson, and uh, it was Edith Greer. Okay. And uh, uh, I do have a twin brother. All right. And his name is John. Okay. And I have a younger brother that's four years younger. It's Hayden. And... Uh, and where's John? John lives in Corinth, just south of uh, Denton on okay. 35. Mm -hmm. Y'all are still out of, of the Metroplex, aren't you? And Hayden? Hayden is uh, living in Fort Worth. In Fort Worth. Well, yeah. you, do, you got a, all of this little nest of you in kind of a triangle, aren't you? All around the Metroplex. Oh, that is yeah. great. That's wonderful. <clears throat> and going to school, you did attend, uh, uh, where did you start to your basic school, elementary? Uh, was it Carbon? At Carbon, C-O-R-B-I-N? C-A-R-B-O-N. C-A-R-B-O-N. Yeah, yep, and that was uh, first grade gr through the 12th. One through I mean, 12. It was, it was a full school, just one school. And you you left uh, Carbon in what grade? Uh, in the 10th grade. Uh, you left there in the 10th grade, and uh, then you d decided to go on into uh, Eastland. Eastland. And yeah. you went cold turkey into Eastland High School at two grades before you were a senior. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. And we did that, just uh, uh, maybe an opportunity to get a scholarship to, uh, in sports or something mm -hmm. to, to college. Right. Now, in all of your schooling up until that 10th grade, do you have a favorite teacher, somebody that motivated you uh, in all of your schooling? Oh, uh, yeah. There's, there's several of them, many of them. Uh, uh, Mrs. McDonald, uh, as we called her, uh, uh, and Mrs. Good was another one. Uh, when we, uh, uh, Coach Ragsdale, at, uh, when we moved up to Eastland. All right, now Coach Ragsdale, was that in football or some of the other? It was really, Coach Ragsdale was in uh, football and, uh, and basketball, he but was really, it. he was, where I got uh, to really know Coach Ragsdale was in uh, the math department. The math department, okay. He was a great, great teacher. Okay. And graduating from uh, Eastland in what magic year? 1960. 1960. And from there, what happened to Don Wilson? Where'd you go? What'd you do? Went to uh, Cisco Junior College on a half uh, scholarship playing baseball. And I spent a year there. Uh, decided that uh, I needed to, uh, that was in the uh, kind of the Vietnam Okay. era mm -hmm. in 1961, 62. Uh, I joined the United States Air Force and I spent four years uh, in the Air Force. And you did your training where? At Lackland Air Force Base. Okay. And then went to uh, a year of uh, uh, school, electronic school in Bluxy, Mississippi, and then went to Hill Air Force Base. Mm -hmm. 
stay there the whole time. And Hill Air Force Base is where? Ogden, Utah. Mercy. Close to Salt Lake City. Oh, okay. I'm going to leave you here for a few minutes. Okay. I'm going to leave you in Ogden, Utah. All right. But I've got to get Jennifer up to snuff. <laughs> Jennifer, we're so pleased you're with us, dear. Uh, thank you. And I've read your bio, but we want you to tell us about it. Uh, you were born where? And tell us a little bit, uh, follow the same pattern that I've given Mr. Wilson. Well, I was actually born in Ranger, in Texas. Ranger, Texas. Mm -hmm. Uh, my parents lived in Eastland, uh, Ray and Betty Pryor. And, Betty, and Betty's name Pryor? Was Jones. It was What's Jones that? before Betty she Jones married. Betty Jones Pryor. Betty Jones Pryor. Okay, do you have brothers or sisters? I had uh, one brother. All right. Chris. Um, he's deceased. Okay. Um, and? And Are I, your parents still uh, living? Uh, my mother is still your living. Your mother's still living. And where is she? She's in Eastland. She is in Eastland, near you. Oh, my, my, my. My, my, my. I should have known that's <laughs> one of the reasons we're going back to Eastland. That is really great. And the schools you attended? Well, I attended, I attended all 12 years in Eastland. 12 uh, in Eastland. Mm -hmm. There was an elementary school, and then I went to Eastland Middle mm -hmm. School and graduated in 1966 from Eastland High School. All right, now, in your elementary years and up until you got to the high school, secondary schools, who was your favorite teacher, motivator, somebody really wonderful that you can't forget? I would say in... Um, Middle school, it was probably, um, I'm going to say Teach Johnson. Okay, and the, uh, was the subject? English. English. Did, was that becoming your favorite subject? Absolutely. Absolutely mm -hmm. wonderful. And then on into high school, uh, favorite teacher, favorite subjects? Or are you an outstanding student? Did you get a scholarship? Tell me about you. Well, I was an honor graduate. Good. And I, um, I excelled in English, and right. I went to uh, North Texas in Denton. North Texas, Denton. With a major in uh, fashion merchandising and a minor in English. Uh -huh. The minor in English. It minor took in second, English. But it that took fashion merchandise, what, mm -hmm. what provoked you for that? I had always been interested in just fashion. Fashion. Mm -hmm. you know, as a young girl, mm -hmm. I used to love to um, dress paper dolls and yes. try to design clothes. And, and you finished at North Texas in what magic year? Well, I actually left North Texas and I went to Dallas Fashion Merchandising College at the Apparel Mart. Okay, yes. In, um, in Dallas and I graduated in 1969. 1969 and from there uh, I'm going to have to uh, get you all together somewhere along the way. <laughs> You're close. Um, well, I thought I was You're getting kind of close. I'm going to come back to Mr. Wilson and ask him how he found such a beautiful young lady at the Fashion uh, Mart in Dallas <laughs> or whatever. Mr. Wilson. Well, I actually knew uh, Jennifer when uh, we uh, were both in uh, Eastland, even though there was a few years separation in their yeah. uh, ages. but. Uh, uh, I, I just, you know, after I got back from the service and went to work for the electric company. And, and what electric company was this? After Texas you? Electric Service Company. And out of where? Out of Eastland, Texas. And that was in Eastland, okay. Mm -hmm. And and you knew her in Eastland, and so mm -hmm. by the magic of romance, you all got together and you married in Eastland? Well, yes, yes we did. Yes, you did, okay. And now that you're together in Eastland, what are you doing while he's working for the electric company? Actually, I was on a co-op program. And okay. I was going to UTA. All right. And she was uh, in Dallas uh, going to Going to the, that mark. Yes. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so the, uh, we With got, all this commuting and... Yep. Yes. We got to know each other. And, uh, yes. And then in 1969 was the magic year. 1969, you married. And where were you at this time, and what was your future? Well, we were, uh, we actually moved to Arlington. Okay. Uh, when we, right after we got married, uh, we moved to Arlington, and I started to work for uh, Texas Electric Service Company in Arlington. I just moved from Eastland to Arlington. Eastland to Arlington. And uh, during this time, were you working, or you were at the Paramount? I was working. Uh, after I graduated, I... I worked in uh, at Sanger Harris. Okay. I bought men's underwear and socks. So oh, that wonderful. <laughs> That's good. Yes. That is good. Um, in downtown uh -huh. uh, Dallas. Yes. 
And that was for, for a while? For a while. Okay. Now, from Arlington, where'd you go? From Arlington, uh, I actually uh, was in engineering uh, with Texas Electric Service Company, and I moved to the service center in Arlington. And I'd been there five years. And I moved to the service center and stayed there five years. Okay. And then I moved to uh, Fort Worth. And uh, all of this time you're still job. with an electric? Ever, yeah. Okay, and then finally at Fort Worth, what made you care? Uh, it's probably, uh, well, it'd be 10 years, so it'd be 79. Okay. And what were you doing in Fort Worth? Uh, I was uh, uh, assistant superintendent. Uh, at, I was at... Uh, uh, the the uh, Montgomery Street office and work I was over construction. Okay, and you didn't let him go to Fort Worth alone. What were you doing? Still commuting to Dallas or what? No, by then I had uh, decided to um, chase a new career. Okay. I went to nursing school. To nursing school? I went to nursing school. Oh, okay, so you're educating your wife so that she could be a nurse. That yep. is so good. And where did you attend? Well, at first, I decided I wanted to get my feet wet just to, yeah, see, to see if I thought I really was going to be able to do it. Uh -huh. And I went to a vocational nursing school at Arlington Memorial. Okay. I attended there a year, and as soon as I got out, then I, I started uh, working on my RN degree okay. at Tarrant County, and I graduated in 1978. 1978, you became a real Regi nurse. A registered nurse. Oh, mm -hmm. isn't that a real wonderful? nurse? Okay, mm -hmm. I've got to get back over here because uh, after this Texas Electric in Arlington and, and being in the building department and going to Fort Worth where you were over construction, where'd you go then? I went into uh, the transportation department for Texas Electric Service Company okay. and I was superintendent of transportation for the company. Mm -hmm. and I uh, was responsible for the fleet and uh, uh, building vehicles, trucks, uh, bucket trucks, derrick trucks, uh, cars, all over the system. With all of this experience, you've been in several other places electrically and otherwise. When did you come to Grand Prairie for the Texas Electric TXU or whatever it was in Grand Prairie, Texas? Well, uh, I. I came to actually came to uh, Grand Prairie in uh, uh, 1995, December of 95. Is All right. December the 11th. Okay. And that was through Fort Worth and Plano, and then to Grand Prairie. And then to Grand Prairie, and uh, you replaced Harry King. I replaced uh, Jerry LaMay. Jerry LaMay, who had replaced Harry King. That's correct. Yes, down the line. All right. Where were you? During all of this time, and when he came to Grand Prairie, Texas, to be at uh, TXU or Texas Electric there? I was working in Dallas. All right. Um, you had uh, begun your nursing career. Oh, yes. I had, I had been working in nursing since 1978. All right. Uh, I worked, um, what is now, it was South Arlington Medical Center. Yes, then uh -huh. it's Medical Center of Arlington uh -huh. now, and I worked there 10 years. I was head nurse in surgical recovery, mm -hmm. and from there I went to uh, Arlington Day Surgery here in Arlington, and I worked there for a couple of years until we were transferred. And when we moved to Plano, then I started working in the senior living industry. Okay. Um, I worked in the retirement and assisted that living communities. That was a good experience, wasn't it? Yes, and ultimately after we moved to Grand Prairie, then I accepted a position with Marriott and was administrator for an assisted living uh, in Fort Worth. In Fort Worth. Mm -hmm. Okay, that gets us about up to snuff. And coming into Grand Prairie, Texas, what did you think about it, coming in from Fort Worth and all Plano and all the other places you'd been? I thought it... Uh, you got to the end of the world, I know. Yeah. <laughs> no, not No. Really. <laughs> it was, uh, you know, the, I guess the thing that, that really set the whole picture when we came to Grand Prairie and started looking at homes to buy, Yes. Uh, the realtor showed us three homes. <laughs> yeah. That's how many houses there were for us to look at in Just Grand Prairie. Just three. Three. Right. Yeah. And, uh, but that's not the one we picked. We found one ourselves and... Uh, went through the realtor and we actually bought on Green Hollow. Mm -hmm. yes. But uh, yeah, it was, uh, you know, the, the five, six years that I was in Plano, the population increased 40,000. 
-hmm. So that kind of tells you, you know. We were uh, a little slow behind the ears, weren't we? Yes, that, we were. But that's all right. And uh, working with the city, how'd you get along with the city? Oh, great. And the, and the chamber? You were already into the chamber doing all good stuff? Rotary Club, uh, yeah. chamber, uh, YMCA, uh, Hispanic chamber. Uh, I, I got just... Uh, you really got a involved. dose of it all, didn't you? Got a dose of it all. Yes. Uh, met the mayor, met the council, and yes. uh, just got uh, just involved in everything in Grand Prairie. And in the meantime, in all of these years, we've been talking about, do we have children? We do. We have children. Let's name children. Tell us where um, they are now. Well, we have Stephen. We have Stephen as first. And he was born in 1971 in Arlington and he now lives in Plano married and has three little boys all right and let's name those three little boys well Christopher all right. Chase and all right. Caleb okay we got it we got to have this all the C's had all the C's oh that is really great and that's wonderful and you have other children we have one who is adopted and okay. his name is Corey C-O-R-E-Y C-O-R-Y C-O-R-Y mm -hmm. and he is he, l he lives in Farmer's Branch. Farmer's Branch. Okay. All right. With three grandchildren, two sons, and a busy, busy life, uh, I'd like to know what happened uh, with TU Electric when you decided to retire. Well, What was that magic year? That was 1999, and actually I uh, took a buyout. I uh, officially, you know, it's not a retirement. I just... Uh, they bought me out, and uh, I went looking for another job. Okay. And had a long way to go, about 200 feet across yep. the street, and there was some things at the city that uh, had developed, and uh, Mr. Hart uh, was the manager at that time, and uh, asked me if I would be interested in working for the city, and if I ever thought about it. And I said, no, but I definitely would be interested. He said, well, let me know. So I let him know the next day. And you just have all of this experience working with cities all along. Yeah. Um, I know that you felt a kinship to the cities mm -hmm. and all of this good stuff. And where were you placed in the city at that time? I was uh, placed in the city manager's office. and uh, As a deputy city manager or an assistant? No, well, as a special projects coordinator. Special at, uh, projects coordinator. And, uh, Okay. Mr. Hart indicated that uh, at that time that uh, uh, due to not having any real city experience that uh, you needed some testing. I needed some testing. Yes. And I took that test and uh, one year later apparently I passed because he promoted me to deputy city manager. Okay, so you had one year of kind of skirting the territory. Yes. That, that is good. In the meantime, Jennifer, what were you doing when he quit TU Electric and settle down into Grand Prix like as a city position. Were you out and about or what? Well, I continued to work in Dallas right. until the drive was just oh. too much. The traffic was too much. That's to the Marriott. And a, a position came available with the school district and... That's the Grand Prix the School Grand District? The Grand Prix School District. Okay. And I, I took a job and I worked there for seven years until we moved. As a school nurse? A school nurse. And where did you begin your career? In what school? Milam Elementary. At Milam. Did you end up in Milam Elementary? Milam Elementary. For the entire time For you the were, entire you time. You belonged to Milam. I belonged to Milam. And all the kids thought you were so special because I've talked to several <laughs> of, of the boys and girls that have been through Milam. And, uh, your name uh, comes up as, as a lady that knows what she's doing and cares about kids. And isn't that great? Oh, they're great kids. Yes, yeah. they're and, and now, uh, now that you're retired and have left Milam, uh, are you going to do anything nurse-wise in the Eastland area, or are you going to kind of get your house in order I'm, first? I'm going to get my house in order, and I'm leaving my options open. Okay, that is good. Well, you're such a young, beautiful lady and a registered nurse. You're going to be in demand somewhere, so just watch your chops, will you? I, I got it. <laughs> okay, all right. Now let's get, let's get back to... Uh, being a deputy city manager, what did you do as deputy city manager? Well, I had, uh, uh, I was the manager over the municipal court, the library system, and uh, 
uh, the Housing Neighborhood Services. That's and a bunch right there. That, that was uh, quite a bit and also had the IT department. And, oh, uh, yes. And I would be amiss if I didn't mention the one that uh, that was heavily involved with was Keep Graham Very Beautiful and Tammy Chan. Yes. Between you and Tammy Chan, you drove us all to beautification. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say crazy, but I said to beautification right. because right. that's the name of the game, wasn't it? Uh, that's been an exciting experience. And uh, wh when did you decide you were going to leave the city? Uh, about a year ago. About a year ago. Yeah. And, and I, we just... You were uh, ready to retire? No, uh, I really wasn't ready to retire. Yeah. I just... Uh, there were some opportunities coming up that uh, I really kind of wanted to uh, get back out to uh, Eastland and yes. uh, uh, spend some time with my uh, folks yes. and uh, who have both deceased uh, since. And uh, but uh, we would uh, we made us some goals and plans and decided to build a house and out at Lake Leon. So we just uh, carried on with those plans and. Uh, uh, the end of May of this year, we uh, we put those in place, and and you got the job as city manager of the, Eastland, of Texas. Eastland, Texas. A co population what? About thirty-eight hundred. And how many on your council? There's five. There's five, and you got a young mayor. And tell us a little bit about your excitement in working with this new group. All right, uh, it is an exciting time to be in Eastland. I, I think Eastland, for those that don't know, is about one hundred and 10 or 15 miles uh, west of the Metroplex, right on Interstate 20. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it has uh, quite a bit of history uh, there in Eastland. And uh, uh, Old Rip is probably the, the horn toad. Yes. It's probably the, the, everybody knows Eastland by, yes. by that. But uh, the, uh, the town is growing. Uh, again, it's, it's got a, a good council and a great mayor that uh, is leading that group. And uh, the citizens uh, are behind the town. They're renovating uh, quite a few buildings, old buildings good, that's uh, good, been sir. around for a long time. Yeah. One of them being the Conley Hotel, yes. which is an eight story. And there are just lots and lots and lots of memories from that uh, for lots of people. And uh, uh, there's, a, there's a guy that uh, married a lady from Eastland and Bill Bradley, and he's, uh, he's doing great things there, and uh, it's an exciting time uh, to be there. How exciting is it for you? Well, it's exciting to go back in your homeland. To my homeland. Yes. yes. And of course, my mom is there, and that's, I, I really... That's a um, blessing. It's a blessing, and it's a blessing to be able to spend this time with her. Um, lots of friends there, uh, old friends. Yes. And, um, so it, it's it's been very exciting to get back and and see everyone and re -establish get involved, reestablish yourself. And of course, we love living at the lake. Yes, that's great. It's wonderful. Now, let's get down to some more personal things about all these clubs and things you've been in, <laughs> the Rotary, Chamber of Commerce. You've you've had your hand in almost all of these pockets. What was your favorite outreach in the community? First, second, third. Uh, I hate to put anything in. in a, or if I if I had to, and I guess I am. YMCA. The YMCA. Uh, the uh, uh, Rotary Club, Chamber of Commerce. Uh, would probably be the order that I would put. Uh, uh, really, though, Ruthie, uh, all of them meant a whole lot to me because. I spent so much time and met so many people. Yes. Uh, of course, my favorite of all was the city. Of the city, and you were on the RAB. I was you were on vice the chairman two of the RAB, two restoration advisory board, boards, and yeah. rehabilitating the old Naval Air Station, Station Dallas. Yeah. Uh, how about some of your awards? Let's let's give give yourself some kudos. We'd like to know all <laughs> the things. <laughs> I've got a list here, and I can read them all, but it's nicer for you to tell us about them. They'd well, rather hear you than me. No, I, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, I, I guess uh, the, the last one was my favorite. Uh, 
uh, even though uh, there, there was others, but the uh, being uh, honored by the Rotary Club, uh, uh, you know, that put me up there with uh, lots of great people and uh, uh, with Hank, uh, with uh, uh, the mayor and Mr. Hanks and uh, Tag Taggart and uh, uh, Terry Jackson and uh, uh, Carlisle Smith. Uh, I mean, when they when they have a golf tournament and your honor is the fundraiser, the main fundraiser for the Rotary Club. I think that's one of the highlights of your career. It is. It yes. Is. Uh, and being president of the Chamber of Commerce, doing all of these other good things, president of Rotary. Uh, the old awards I got with uh, uh, with the YMCA was special, and in, yes. in the fact that. Uh, they uh, they just helped so many kids that uh, never would have opportunities to do probably hardly anything in their life, and there's just uh, lots of scholarships that they got uh, because of the uh, the fundraisers that we did and and over the years. So it helped lots of lots of kids. The Rotary program helped tens of thousand kids. Yes. In their, you know, Janelle Becknell and her dental. Program that now she, that's where that we're saving that one for her. Okay. She's right. next. She's right. next <laughs> because Jennifer came up with the fact that these dental needs in the city of Grand Prairie. We have about one minute for you to tell us a little bit about that. Well, after having gone to work uh, at the school district, I was just appalled at the dental needs of the children yes. in my school. I couldn't really speak for the others, but and some in my that school. Afford it. They've never been to a dentist, and they were in fifth grade, and uh, just children that needed hundreds and hundreds and fat, well, really thousands of dollars worth of work. Yeah. And I just happened to mention to Don, I said, you know, the Lions Club helps us with glasses. Why, why can't the Rotary Club take on the dental needs of the community? And they did. And they did. Yes. And then now they have that still going, I believe, at the Wellness Center. Mm -hmm. and, and a, a bus or something that comes around to the kids and well the um dr bicknell comes in and screens, and screens all second the second graders in the title oh, one yeah. schools she screens their teeth uh, and if their members are decay free then they come back in with parental permission and uh, place sealants on the molars oh, wonderful it's now preventative Camera number two is yours for about a minute and a half. I want you to thank the people of Grand Prairie and tell them how much you love living in Grand Prairie in spite of the fact that you've moved to Eastland. Well, I, uh, I do miss Grand Prairie. I, you know, it's the, it's the hub of the, of the Metroplex, and, and the people in Grand Prairie do have a lot to be proud of. Uh, number one, I think they, uh, they've got a tremendous uh, mayor and council and uh, I was really uh, uh, saddened uh, to hear that Frank Robinson left, but I'm sure there'll be someone who'll step up to the plate and cover that. But uh, uh, the people of Grand Prairie do have a lot to be thankful for. Uh, the cities are growing, and uh, you know, with the future that it's, that it's got with Highway 161, uh, it, there's just, I mean, it just continues and continues uh, to grow. Uh, you have a half a minute to mention Pat Markham or you're in bad trouble. Uh, I, yeah, I, you're right. I would be in trouble. And uh, Pat Markham, uh, Sharon Barrett, yes. uh, Vicki, uh, uh, but I, I got... All of your secretaries. All of my secretaries. But I got to say Tom Hart and Tom Cox and Anna Dahl, Kathy DiMaggio, uh, you know, and, and then I put... Uh, We've got to wrap you up. You Pat Markham in there with a the whole bunch. Thank you all so very much for being with us today. And this is Ruthie Jackson reminding you that history is as we live and do and that we document it.